Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on ranged attacks slash shooting objects using the gravity function. Um, so let me dig straight in. Uh, so we've gone ahead and added a ball to the library. Um, I just used football. You can click the marketplace and add it to your asset list. Um, and we're going to use numpads. So first thing I'm going to build is a button. So I'm going to bring up a block. Any block will do. And we will just use uh, a natural looking one. Let's go for a grass one. Here we go. Go ahead and put that in. And we'll go ahead and add a button. And that button here will be uh, edit logic. And a message to send will be ball. So now when we push the button, it will send out the message ball. Over here, we're going to get a asset spawner. And we're going to select that football we added just before. So football, um, edit the logic. Um, we will use the message required to be ball, which is what happens when you push this button. Um, and football will come out, change the physics to gravity and we want the offset to be zero just for this test so when we push the button a ball will spawn right on top of this asset so we'll go ahead and test that press tab and we will push the button you can see a ball spawns right on top we push it again uh, you can see the balls flying through the air which is a lot of fun it's gained a lot of distance that's because the ball the second ball spawns where the first ball is and because they both have collisions uh, they shoot away from each other so we can push that many many times uh, you can see the ball flies in the air pretty cool uh, what we actually want is the ball to fly forward so if we use the rotate tool hold shift and we'll rotate it so it's facing that way let's test that out see what happens uh, you can see it's not the result we really want kind of but um, it's not what we are after. So what we're gonna do here is offset it again. So we'll change the Y to say 0 0.75, and that means the ball will spawn outside of the pad. We can test that just to see what happens. Still not the result we're after. Okay, so what we actually need now is, uh, we'll bring this down to floor level, and we'll bring this one up so it's kind of in the way of the ball spawning. Now if we press tab and test that out, you can see it's spawning on top of that second numpad and it's going somewhere, but not where we want it. We'll go ahead and remove all these indicators on it so it's not something that's seen and we'll rotate it again in a certain direction and we'll see if the ball flies in that area. Ah, excellent. So now we've got something that shoots out a ball every time we push this button. Cool beans. Uh, if you check the button and edit the logic, the duration is one second, meaning we can only sh uh, send this signal every one second. Uh, but if we do 0 0.1 and hit enter and go over to our asset spawner, edit logic and the delay between spawns 0 0.1, it means that we can spawn this 10 times a second as long as we spam that button. So if we spam now, you can see we got many, many balls. Ah, so many. Uh, and you can flood the stadium with it, um, which is cool. Now to take this to the next level, we'll go ahead and put down another numpad. Uh, but we're going to do some naming conventions now. So we'll go ahead and say spawn, uh, spawn ball. So this is the asset that spawns the ball. This one here will be spawn block. It blocks the spawner, which shoots it off in the air. Um, and this one here, we can say uh, spawn move. And we'll go ahead and give this one, remove all the behavior and components and then add basic platform. Change the weight duration to zero. Change it to a reasonable speed, say maybe three. Uh, and the direction we want is horizontal. So we'll go, uh, say, 20. Fantastic. So we'll move this, uh, well, we'll go ahead and type in spawn in our hierarchy. Just click the button here in the bottom left. 
and we're going to parent all of these objects to the move. So now our block and our spawner will move with the with the basic platform. And we can make it go as far as we want. So we can say 30 and we can make it move as fast as we want. And now when we move this object, everything moves with it. So let's press tab and we can press E and you can see we've now got a moving shooter. So if we have target practice, we can um, shoot a ball in a distance to try to aim. Um, so yeah, that's your basics for shooting an object. You can go one step further. Um, you go ahead to your asset spawner, edit logic. The tag we want is ball and the behavior we want is plant. So we can send a kill message to a tag that has ball uh, to kill off all the balls if they miss. Um, also another thing we can do, uh, let's use an NPC, anything will do. We use the alpha dragon. Um, we can make it walk around if we want, uh, but for this example, we'll just say none and we'll give it a speaker component. We'll make it detect entity. The entity we want to detect is ball and we want it to be quite small range. So it's like it's hit the target. Um, and when that message, uh, when a ball goes in that blue radius, we can send a message, uh, so something like kill dragon. Excellent. And now we want something to kill the dragon. So we'll go ahead and give it a health component. Um, we can keep the message kill. We don't want it to show any health and we'll set another asset, uh, sorry, another asset down. Yes. And we'll give it a, um, for this one, you can do whatever you want. When it sends a message, it can be speaker or message broadcaster. We'll do speaker for this example. So when the message kill dragon happens, uh, we'll say kill, uh, kill dragon now. All right, so kill dragon now. We'll go ahead and put that in our health. So kill dragon now. So what we've done is when a ball goes in this blue radius, it will send a message kill dragon, which goes to this speaker component, uh, which now sends a message saying kill dragon now, which goes back to the dragon and kills it. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a ball over there to test that out. Ah, doesn't look like it reaches that far, so we'll bring it a bit closer. And we'll keep shooting the ball. One of them's got a hit. I guess it uh, needs a, a bigger radius. Let's have a look, see what we've done wrong. We want to detect the ball entity and we'll make it a bit larger. And we'll just make sure this has the ball tag. Yes, all right. So it could be just a issue with collision boxes being too big for the ball to get into the radius. And as you can see, that worked. So depending on the asset, you need to tailor um, these numbers. Uh, even with the asset spawner here, if you use a smaller object, um, this will need to become closer. So you'll need to do moving around to get the exact uh, thing that you want. And as you move things, you can see different results happen. Uh, I moved that closer to the asset spawner and the ball doesn't go as far. So you can increase the distance and decrease the distance based on the position of that blocker. As you can see, it doesn't work it goes backwards now. So I need to bring that closer and maybe up. And you can see now the ball shoots off further than we originally had it. All because we tweaked where that blocker uh, is in position of the asset spawner. So I hope this has um, been a little useful. If you have any questions, message me on Discord. I'm more than happy to help. Have a great day.